Hello, sweeties. It's Gigi here. This time we're going to read a story about Kwanzaa. Okay, we'll learn all about it with this book. Can you read that? It's called Jahim's First Kwanzaa by Zephaniah Martin. Jahim, wake up, son. It's time to get ready for Kwanzaa, said Jahim's mom. Jahim rolled over in his bed and sighed. Why do we even have to add another holiday? After he got ready, he walked downstairs past the new gifts he had received the day before. He looked at his parents laying out the materials for Kwanzaa, just as the Kanara with the seven candles and the Makika mat under the Kanara. See that little family? As he watched, he thought of how much he did not want to celebrate Kwanzaa. His parents finally finished and the family started their first Kwanzaa celebration. Jahim's dad described the first principle of Kwanzaa. He said, Umoja means unity in the African language, Swahili, and it represents the value of coming together to work and to help each other as a community. Jahim suddenly went off into a daydream, thinking about Christmas presents he had received the day before and his plans to play with his new video game and his friend. Jahim was not paying attention when his dad said, Jahim, are you paying attention to me? Jahim replied, yeah, 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 you were talking about the first of the seven principles of Ujam. Jahim's dad looked frustrated as he said, no, the word is Umanja, not Ujam. Jahim looked at his parents and asked, why do we need to celebrate a new holiday? Don't we already have enough? Jahim's mom put her arm around Jahim and explained, Kwanzaa is a special holiday that has an important purpose. Jahim was now curious about why Kwanzaa was so important in his special ho and special holiday. So he asked, why is it important or special? Jahim's dad told him, Kwanzaa is important because with slavery, African Americans were separated from their traditions, culture, beliefs, holidays, people, and life. Jahim asked, so Kwanzaa is important because it helps us connect with our African culture we were separated from? Jahim's parents both said, yes, that's right. After that, they poured libations for the ancestors. Jahim's mom said the names of relatives who had passed away, and as she said each name, she poured water on the plant. Jahim watched curiously, and he thought of his grandfather who had passed away five years ago. When it was Jahim's turn, he said his grandfather's name, Julius. As he poured the water on the plant, he was filled with happiness and pride. See him watering the plant? Aww. Jahim told his parents how he felt and they told him he was, he was happy because his ancestors were not forgotten. When someone dies, the sad thing is not that they died, it is that they are not remembered. After that, Jahim realized Kwanzaa was a way to be reconnected with his African culture, traditions, and life. What a sweet story. Seven Principles of Kwanzaa. Unity, Umaja, Self-Determination, Kujagulia, Collective Work and Responsibility, Ujima, cooperation, 
and economics Ujama purpose Nia creativity Kumba faith Imani what a nice story that's about our African American friends I love you have a good day bye bye I'll read another story later okay don't forget about Gigi bye bye